Good morning, I'm James and welcome to my channel, Spinal Engine. Uh, I'm making this video to demonstrate to those who are unfamiliar with this condition of scoliosis, how it affects the position of the rib cage as well as the spine, since all the ribs attach around the back of the spine. If the spine is crooked or has lateral curves, the rib cage makes sense to be uh, having some things going on with it too. Uh, just so all you know, the xiphoid process, which is this little bone between the sternum right there, uh, up until 2006 or 2008 rather, I didn't have this bone. My rib cage was twisted in such a manner that the xiphoid process was laying under the left side of my rib cage, and it was just soft tissue there. Only uh, in the last 10 years has the xiphoid process appeared since my scoliosis is resolving itself. But uh, I'm, I'm having some severe rib shifts. Over the last three weeks, my left side of my rib cage is shifting a lot. So my pattern of scoliosis has always been that I can bent over to the right side, the rib cage on the right side is collapsing, the left side, the ribs are flared out. In other words, my head's kind of to the left of where my rib cage is and things aren't over each other. Um, as a consequence of this, I've never really been able to turn to rotate to my left side or to side bend to my left side. It's like I just... I don't know what it was, my body just felt like I couldn't do it. My spine would simply not bend that way. And now as the scoliosis is resolving, I'm starting to feel uh, this, these lower ribs here on the left side that flared out. They're starting to shift back in and under and, and go back to give my spine that neutral position in the, uh, on the thorax side, the T1 to 12, where all the ribs are connected to the spine. That's where I'm having most of my shifts right now. So I'm fortunate enough to catch the shift in the process to be able to demonstrate how the ribs shift. So in the past I would sit with these ribs flared out like this to the side and uh, all my breathing would only be in the left side of my chest even though there's three lobules in the right side of the lungs and only two in the left. The left lungs are smaller. Most of my breathing was predominantly on my left side, hyperextending the left chest and not the right which actually is what causes the scoliotic pattern to begin with is a hyperextension of one side of the chest of the thoracic vertebrae only and that creates a loft side and then there's a twist and a side bend and everything uh, gets messed up but here it is there's my scoliotic pattern right there and the shift is going such like that so the so the ribs are going from flaring out and the back extended or arched to pulling in and then rounding the back in that position and essentially getting that part of my rib cage underneath me. This shift has not been possible until the space has been created on this side because these ribs are pushed in and these ribs cannot move in until these ones can move back that way and get out of the way, which is happening now. So, and of course, when I'm like this, all the weight's on the left sit bone, there's no weight on the right sit bone. So, when I'm standing, there's absolutely no weight going through my right leg. My whole life I've never been able to stand on my right leg. And now as this rib cage shifts back in underneath there and my, everything lines up over each other, some weight is shifting over onto the right sit bone and hence the right leg when standing. And so now... Uh, and then as soon as the rib cage can go under there, then the chest on the left side has something to lean down on as opposed to there being an empty space there and the chest having to hold itself up. Now that the ribs underneath there, the chest feels confident that it can soften and relax down, knowing that it has the structure underneath to support it, which are the lower ribs. All right, I'm James, and thank you for joining me today. I hope this can shed some light on the condition of scoliosis, and I will be reporting more and more on this condition as my condition resolves and improves itself to give those who have this condition of scoliosis uh, some hope that there is a cure.